Hi friends, this is Neha from SM Creatives and today we are going to learn how to make a simple blush and gold watercolor wedding invitation on a Mac machine. Now I'm using Pages as my software which comes loaded with all Mac machines. If you're on a window machine then you can use uh, Microsoft Word. The concept is the same so you can follow along with what we are doing over here and do the same on a Windows machine as well. So this design is basically what we're going to be making. It's a very, very simple design, but it's got quite a bit of blush and gold elements happening and some like a nice pop of color over here. Uh, it's going to take us less than 10 minutes to make this. The, uh, this is something that I've already made, but I'm going to close this and we'll start from the top. First thing, so no, we're not going to save it. First thing we're going to do is open pages. Okay, new document, blank page. Go to file, page setup, and set your set up your document size. So normally your wedding invitation would be five inches by seven inches. So that's what we are going to choose here. Now you get a five by seven inches page. Next thing that we need is the background. For this, we're going to use a background from this blush and gold watercolor kit. There are these pre-made JPEG backgrounds, which are basically backgrounds with a white background. And we also have PNG borders. It's the same thing, but you can change the white in it to any color that you wish. In this case, we're going to make a white background invitation. So we'll just choose this first background and we'll select it and drag and drop it into pages. Now you see that it's on our canvas. Take it to the corner, hold down the shift key, and just increase the size so that it fits the page. Okay, now we have our background ready. That's it. Not, like, it's really easy to basically drag and drop and stretch out your file. It's gonna fit a five by seven sheet perfectly. Next thing we're gonna do is add our text. First, we'll add in the names. Now, you can add in obviously the relevant names. I'm just taking these favorite characters. I'm using this font called Medina. It's a really beautiful font. I'll link to it in the description below so you can find it. It's, it's a premium font but it's absolutely stunning and I get a lot of questions about it so I'm just using it here. Increase the size. Okay, that's a good enough size. We'll center align it so that our text is centered. You see these grid lines also appear by themselves. Very, very handy. Just make sure that you're moving it along the grid lines. Now we can choose a color for this. I like a nice peachy pink color. This is probably a bit too bright so we can go here and adjust the color. That's it. I think I like this better, so I'm gonna to stick to it. Next, we are going to add some more text. Again, center line. And I'm going to use Times New Roman for this. I want a nice serif font. Italicize it. I'm gonna place this Right, okay, right on top over here. Okay, now we can see that the Y is getting cut off a little bit, so we just need to open this up a little bit. And the T should be capitalized, so we'll just go back and do that. Next, again, so now you've got the hang of it. Essentially, to add text, we're just going to be clicking on this text button and we get a text box. Okay, I'm just going to center align it. Choose the right font. We 
should probably be using the same font as the one above. I'm going to increase the spacing like I want more of a gap between the two lines so I'll probably use a 1.5 spacing on what date let's make it 23rd July 2018 whatever address Now you can choose to edit the font of any of these information. Now I'm going to change the font for the date because I want that to pop up. So I'm going to make this also Medina. Just going to increase the size a little bit so that it shows up. See this a little bit extra gap over here. So I'm just going to reduce the spacing for just that bit. Now you can see that this is getting hidden. So whenever you see that any text is getting hidden, that means the box just needs to be opened up a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to change the color. Make it a soft gray. Black was standing out a bit too much. So gray looks softer for sure. I'm pretty much done with how this looks. I'm pretty much happy. I just want to add a little bit some other element over here because I have some space over here. So I'm going to go back to my kit and we have these separate splashes and elements like that. I like this one a lot, this splash. So I'm going to just drag and drop that splash into the document. Okay, just drag and drop it appeared over here now just be careful again hold down the shift key and make your splash the size you want it to be and that's it I think I'm happy with how it looks now if you want of course you can you know tweak your uh, text a little bit more but I'm happy with it so what I'm gonna do now is just gonna go to file export to PDF so I'm going to save it as a PDF because most printers will uh, require you to send them either PDFs or JPEGs. So we can export to PDF from pages. So that's what I'm going to do. Please be sure to choose the best image quality possible because that's going to get your print, uh, you know, to turn out good. Next, choose the location. I'm going to call it Lily and James. And it's done exporting. Let's go to our folder. This is the one which I made right now. Here it is. So it's a bit too large right now, but you can see the green, the sparkle, the gold. We'll just make it a little smaller and there is our invitation. So yeah, now you can just use this. You can send this to your friends over email or you can print it. Basically, your invitation is done and it was really easy and in under 10 minutes. So I hope you had fun uh, looking at this video and I hope you're going to try this. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to this channel if you want to see more of such videos. And yeah, I'm going to be linking to all of these resources used in uh, the description below. So just make sure that you check that area out for further information. Bye, you guys.